Have you ever seen a situation that concerned you, but you weren't sure what to do about it? That's why we have Green Dot, to teach people how to safely intervene in potentially violent situations. A Green Dot is a moment in time when someone shows intolerance of violence in our community. But what does that really look like? We sent Taylor to find out. What's your Green Dot? Well, I did a Green Dot last week. I noticed my friend wasn't leaving her ex-boyfriend alone. So I, it kind of looked like stalking behavior to me. So I talked to her about giving him some space. Way to be a good friend. How about you? I joined the student group and I wear my Green Dot t-shirt to the gym. Do you do Green Dots? Yeah, I actually did a Green Dot at a party last weekend. I saw one of my buddies uh, trying to take a girl home with him who looked a little too tipsy. So I went up to him and I told him, bro, get her number and call her when she's sober. And then I made sure uh, she had a safe ride home with her friend. So. I always let my friends know that I don't put up with violence in my community and that sexual assault is never okay. What do your green dots look like? Well, I noticed my friend's boyfriend was being too controlling, so I gave her the um, ATVP hotline number so she could ask for help. And what's your green dot today? Well, earlier I signed up for a green dot bystander training and it was super easy. I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun and getting a free t-shirt. These are all great examples of green dots that college students can do. Another way that you can get involved is by picking up a free friendship bracelet this April in support of Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Unfortunately, sexual assaults are common on college campuses, but this bracelet demonstrates that you're willing to support a friend who chooses to disclose an assault to you. We can all do something to make our college campus safer. To learn more about Green Dot, visit our webpage, like us on Facebook, join the RSO, sign up for a bystander training, or visit us at the Center for Health Promotion. We are located on the ground floor of the Washington Building. And remember, no one has to do everything, but everyone has to do something. So what's your green dot?